at the end of the day, the use of these batteries is determined by the ability of the captain. He's probably got further on battery than any other captain. <laughs> My name is Edward Kemp. I'm a senior master here at Uber Boat by Thames Clippers. I manage a team of about 30 crew and I'm type rated on every boat in the fleet. I never thought I'd be able to drive such big, fast and impressive boats. For my first time up this end on the river, I saw them, I thought I'd like to do that, but never thought I'd get the opportunity. And then the opportunity was given to me and I've never looked back. First of all, checking the bell. It's nice and clean and tidy. Perfect. So I'm here today to finish doing some final safety checks on the Orbit Clipper. We've got to just make sure everything's in place and get it ready for more training and coming into service in the summer. When I started working for Uber Boat by Thames Clippers 14 years ago, I did not think for one minute I'd ever drive an electric ferry. So here I'm going down the port forward void. This is where our cooling skid is for our battery units which we need to check every day to make sure it's running and the pressures are okay and it's all up to scratch. What's it like down there? Dark. So now we're in the battery room. This is where the magic comes from and how the boat's powered. We last for a whole day of 18 hours of running with only six hours charging time. There isn't a part of being on the water that I don't like. I, I'm on the lifeboat crew at South End. I still volunteer for the Sea Scouts and I get to drive boats every day during my job. We're meant to just walk around, Sean, we're just like natural. I'm Sean Collins, CEO and co-founder of Uber Boat by Thames Clippers. 26 years ago, when I set out to deliver uh, Thames Clippers, I never envisaged that we would one day be operating on 100% electric. It's really, really exciting to see what and how that now develops. White Shipyard has built seven boats for us. This is the seventh boat uh, that they've built for us. But this particular vessel, Orbit Clipper, is the first 100% electric vessel that they have built for us and hopefully won't be the last. It looks amazing. I think seeing some of the footage of it on the water and seeing it actually operate is great. And with the backdrop of the O2 in the background, it's just fantastic to see it operating. By building this vessel in aluminium, it enables it to operate for 18 hours a day. The reason being is because aluminium is on average about a third lighter. We can compete on a global scale by proving better fuel economy. We can actually compete with cheaper boats that are built heavier and not as efficient. And so it allows the overall operating cost, not just the purchase cost, to actually be equal. And we can compete with yards in China, India, wherever you want, by building in this material in aluminium. It's just fantastic that it's also been built here in the UK. It is a UK product, and I think that this vessel is going to go a long way to set in standards and technology development and capabilities for future zero emission vessels here on the Thames and nationally, and who knows, they could even end up exporting. What would you give the captain out of 10? Oh, 11, mate. Yeah, he's up there. I feel extremely proud and privileged to be allowed to drive the UK's first fully electric ferry and very much look forward to taking it into service and hopefully providing a good one. <laughs>